In the past, the banks and the big enterprises, they had access to resources, to people that could run massive systems and also the cost of those. But probably the past 10 years in virtualization, we have been able to modularize a lot of the applications. And especially with the digital transformation you've seen in the last six months, how small companies, medium-sized companies can pivot very fast and deliver a service that otherwise you would have expected from the big, for example, retailers. And that's, I think, is the biggest challenge and threat for the big players in the market, but also the biggest chance for the medium business companies to use technology to deliver a differentiated services that their customers enjoy. So there is everything on-prem and I own it and I control it to everything in the cloud and everything in between as well. But at the same time, you also want to make sure that you retain your most valuable asset, which is your data. So it doesn't matter where it sits, if it's on-premise with one of our partners on their platform, but owned by you or in a cloud environment or a mix thereof, you want to make sure that the data is secure, it's yours and you protect it and that you don't have any data breaches, which we unfortunately have seen also quite a lot, but absolutely make use of all the different technologies that are available whether it's cloud, hybrid cloud, or a partner helping you with some of these. At the end of the day, it's about what is the differentiated product or service you want to bring to the market? What's your business problem? And let us help you with the technology behind that. No one's going to go out and buy technology or cloud services because they wake up one morning and think like, oh, I feel like buying some cloud services. They have a business need, and that's the starting point to define your processes in your IT infrastructure from your business needs. New companies out there right now put the old business models to shame. And they put basically a lot of pressure on the existing companies that have been delivering that kind of service up until now. And they're not tied down by legacy IT infrastructure and legacy systems. So they can rethink everything from the customer backwards. And there's a lot of these companies out there that no one's ever heard of, but they change the landscape how IT is done in a medium business environment. They know that most of their customers will be not the traditional IT person. Most of their customers will be mothers, fathers, you know, young people, depending on the product, obviously, that you have to offer. Therefore, I believe for medium sized customers, it can be a massive differentiator to have a diverse workforce because that will give them that additional edge to be closer to the customers that they're trying to serve. Many of our businesses are run by the owner or run by a small team of people and it's easier to build those relationships relatively quickly. So that obviously applies to women and men but because the women that come into the industry tend to be younger and not having 10 or 15 years of experience it is very well suited for the ladies my team is 50 percent male 50 percent female which is really important to me because together we are better we understand better we can liaise better with the customer and get a different perspective and it's not up to women to change this landscape in the IT industry is up to everybody. So we have a school outreach program, which is called Digital Futures. And then we have a mentorship program for students. So we have our own Kulisa Academy and we have our bursary students, because we found that when women in a STEM subject get mentorship, they have a 40% higher chance of finishing and getting a degree. Because it is very hard when you're in an environment where there is 30, 40 men and only two or three ladies. So it is lots of small things that we're trying to do to change how the IT industry looks like.